Hey, what's good, YouTube? This is Andrew from Team Blacktop YGO, and today I'm going to bring you my Sword Soul deck profile. I recently topped locals last Saturday with this deck. I got first place, uh, only losing one match, and that was to, I think, Pure Runic. Um, so let's just get into the deck profile here. So starting off, of course, with our Sword Soul package, we've got three Mo Ye, pretty standard, uh, three Long Yuan, also really standard, two Taya, also standard, and the, I guess it's not really a Sword Soul, but Honorary Sword Soul, three uh, Incredible Ecclesia, the Virtuous. So we got three of them there. Uh, yeah, this is pretty, all pretty standard. There's nothing really uh, fancy about that stuff there. Um, oftentimes, like going uh, second or even going first after siding, I take one of these out. It's not really that necessary to have three of them, but you want to see them there game one for consistency. So that's why I play all them. Uh, for the tennies now, of course, you got to play three of the Ashina. Uh, that's your one that goes or gets your tinny from deck. Uh, you got to play three Vashuda to bounce. Three um, Adhara. That's the one that adds from Banished any worm monster from Banished to hand, which is really good in the uh, Ashuna plus either one of these combo. And last but not least, I main deck the Shithana. Um, this is pretty good. Sorry for the glare. This is pretty good uh, whenever like you're in a, in a game state where you have a token on board but you don't have a level four or something to go with it, you can bring this out. Um, it's also just a nice one in case like you were, uh, <clears throat> you know, you have a monster that gets uh, hit by a hand trap or some sort of negate. Uh, it's always nice to have. And sometimes the graveyard effect does come up. That's the one where if your non-effect monster is destroyed, you can um, like banish this, pop the thing that destroyed it, and then summon the thing that was destroyed. This one comes up the least out of all three of these, but Main decking three of the each of these guys is mandatory, I think. So that's it for the tennies. Uh, oftentimes going second or even going first, depending on the matchup, I would side one each of uh, these guys out, except for this guy. I'd usually keep this guy in, or sometimes I'd side it out. It just kind of depends. But anyway, those are for the tennies. Um, I played uh, some hand traps here also. Uh, I played Ash Blossom, played a set of that, and uh, DD Crow. Uh, these are both okay right now. Um, being a locals, like Ash Blossom's a little more applicable than you would see at like sort of the top tables at a, uh, at a, at a, like a, like a regional or a YSS or something like that. Um, DD Crow's also really good generically right now, so that's why I played them. I also played Imperm. I'll be showing that later, of course, in the traps section, but that's it for the monsters, um, for spells. Of course, we have to have the three emergence, the three heavenly dragon circle. Um, this one isn't necessary to play at three, I don't think, uh, but... Some people opt to play like the the Monster Reborn for Sword Soul. I forget what it's called now, but it's like the Sacred Summit or something like that. Sword Soul Sacred Summit. Um, I don't think it's that necessary. You have a lot of stuff that gets you stuff from deck and can get you stuff from the graveyard if necessary. So I don't think the Monster Reborn card is really that necessary. Usually I would side one of these out for a side card because um, like three is just kind of a lot. <laughs> so yeah, uh, for that's that. I play two Desires, of course, mismatched rarity, but... You know, whatever. <laughs> and one called by the grave. So that's it for spells. I would say that you probably do need to play three of these. Like, if this deck is very consistent, you can... Really, you want to see, like, a combination of a Sword Soul and a Tenu Monster and then, like, some other cards in your hand. But, um, yeah, it's very, it's pretty consistent. I also main decked the one Blackout, and then there's the three Infern. So, uh, this card, going second, you always side it out. It's not really necessary. Um, sometimes I, I would side it, like, one Imperm, depending on the matchup, but... Yeah, that's it. Main deck is 40 cards. Uh, I, I initially uh, main decked Forbidden Droplet uh, and I had it at 43 cards, but I thought uh, having the extra consistency would be so much better. And after doing some test hands and playing through them, it, it seemed to be a lot better to have the extra consistency. So that's it for the main deck. For the extra deck here, of course, we have the two uh, Shishao. Uh, we got, uh, forgive me for not pronouncing this correctly, but it's uh, Sinister, Sorcerer Sinister Sovereign. Uh, Quixing Long Yuan. <laughs> it's level 10 one. Uh, it's it's a really good one. Most of the times, if I could go first and end on both a level 8 and a level 10, it would be these two. Um, I, I don't own Barone, but even if I did, I probably wouldn't end on it going first. Um, another level 10 Sword Soul, the uh, Supreme Sovereign Shenging. It's pretty good. Uh, that's it for the Sword Soul Synchros. Um, let's get to the other stuff here. Play two Boxia. Uh, I would say two is probably mandatory. Uh, I don't think the other one ever came up too much, but like um, sometimes, I, like if if you do that combo on turn one that ends on like the Chao Feng, uh, which yeah, I play one of those. 
if you do the combo that ends on the chow thing turn one um then you'll need the other one for like removal it's uh, like box is a really good card it's it's such a <laughs> it's such a powerful card um so yeah definitely two two is really nice and it's level eight really easy to make with your moyes and tayas and things sometimes you can make a shathana and token into that so it, it's pretty nice another worm monster draco berserker of the tinny uh it's there to clear boards sometimes you make it when you don't have anything else um one time I got locked by Zombie World, and like this was one of the only things I could make, and I eventually powered through it, but yeah, that kind of sucked. <laughs> uh, and then the other Worm Synchro here is Yazi, Evil of the Yangzing. Um, I did make this once, I think it was also against that one time I was Zombie uh, Zombie World locked, but I didn't pop, who was that against? That may have been against uh, a branded deck, I think, like a branded Despia deck. Um, and so I just, I, I, I don't know what I pop with it, but it came up pretty useful there. So yeah, th those are the worm synchro monsters. Um, uh, I also played because I don't have Barone <laughs> and I don't have the, uh, um, what is it? The psychic and punisher. I played Scarlight, never made it. Don't know if it really ever come up. It didn't in the tournament, but, uh, I played it. And then the white war Bahamut, I'm sure there's a better level 10 synchro I could play, but that's just what I had on hand that I could make. Um, so those are those, are those two there. And for links, of course, you got to play the three Monk of the Tenny. Uh, you can't really play any less. You kind of need all three. And then the Shaman. Shaman is really nice. It, it did come up one time. I think I was going for damage or something like that. Um, so it, it's pretty cool also. So that's it. <coughs> Excuse me. For the extra deck. Let's go on to the side deck here. Uh, so for the side deck, we have Nibiru. Um... I, de I think I sided it in once, but I didn't use it. Like, I, I had an opportunity where I could use it, but I just felt like, you know, if I clear his board, it's going to... I think it was against the Despia guy again. I think it triggered all the Despia guy's effects, and I didn't really want to do that, so I, I, I didn't use it. Uh, Twin Twister. Um, <laughs> this card's good, of course. You can put your tenues in the graveyard, so that's really nice. Um, but it's just a powerful back row removal. I think I played over Cyclone just because... Well, I see it, and that's kind of a hard thing also, because, like, against Runic, it would be better to play Cyclone, that way I could just vanish some stuff, and you couldn't be able to shuffle it back with the field spell, but uh, I think for generic back row removal, if you're not going against Runic, then Twin's the way to go, because it just pops more stuff and puts stuff in Graveyard. That's about it. Um, speaking of the Droplet, I did play that in the side deck. I only put it in once, I think. <laughs> uh, maybe I put it in a couple times, but I don't know, it just never... It never came up that much for me. I don't think, I don't know. This this deck, like, <laughs> provided you can hand trap them a little bit, it's really good at breaking boards. So I never really felt like I needed to play a lot of board breakers like Droplets. Um, I uh, So initially before I cut the Droplet from the main, I was playing Dark Ruler in the side and the Droplet in the main, but I just don't feel like that's necessary. Like, like I said, this deck is really good at breaking boards. Um, Dimensional Barrier, this card kind of won me my championship game. Um, <laughs> like it was, it was against the branded Despia guy, and uh, I just dropped this on him, like, and, and he bricked, and that was the game. That was game three, and then um, last but not least, anti spell fragrance. It's way too oppressive to not play. Um, yeah, sometimes it does hurt you, but like the amount of times it does that compared to how it hurts your opponent is just it's infinitesimal. So you you have to play it. It's really good going first. Um, I, I did actually side it going second against this, the Runic guy. Like, and it, it wasn't on Runic Sprite or anything, it was just Runic. And so I figured, like, if I could somehow get rid of the field spell, uh, I can kind of, like, force him to deal with this, with his back row. And then I, I thought if I could get him into that situation, that I could kind of, like, um, I could kind of control the game from there. But, yeah, that's it, uh, for that. That's the deck. Uh, this is the side deck, of course, so... Uh, please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, this was my uh, first place locals uh, sword soul deck profile. What was really nice about this, um, the locals I went to, uh, it had a tournament that day that you, if you if we paid like fifteen dollars instead of five dollars to get in, they had some trophies there and they were giving away some statue like a statue to first place. So I was really thankful for my locals for that. I'm not gonna give it away. <laughs> not like anybody would care to find me anyway, but I'm not going to give it away, but they were very nice in doing that. So um, we really appreciate locals that go above and beyond to 
make the playing experience more enjoyable for the players. But uh, yeah, first place, Tenny Sword Soul deck profile. Please let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. And this is Andrew from Team Blacktop YGO signing out. Peace.